A man accused of fatally stabbing and bludgeoning six people in Tennessee and Alabama was targeting his wife and first killed her father and brother so they couldn't stop him. Authorities say Tuesday the killing rampage left six people dead last weekend and landed 30-year-old Jacob Schaefer in jail. Police say it began in northern Alabama where 50-year-old Sidney Dempsey, an acquaintance of the suspect, was bludgeoned to death. Police have not determined the motive, but say that murder and five later killings in southern Tennessee were premeditated. It was on Friday afternoon, Mr. Schaefer did purchase two handheld stun guns. We believe that Mr. Schaefer then committed the act of murder in Huntsville on Mr. Dempsey. Police say the main target in the killings was Schaefer's wife, with whom he was having marital difficulties. They say Schaefer first killed his wife's father and brother at their home across the street, then went to her home, killing her 16-year-old son and a teenage friend before killing her. At the crime scenes, there were two stun guns as well as the murder weapons, what we believe to be the murder weapons used, recovered. Those weapons were what we believe to be kit large kitchen knives. The sheriff says an officer went to the woman's home after Schaefer dialed 911 Saturday morning. He says when the officer arrived, Schaefer was sitting outside with his four-year-old daughter, who was not harmed physically, but who was present at some point during the killings. Mr. Schaefer then immediately made some remarks. These remarks were unsolicited. There was not a confession, per se, made. Contrary to what you're hearing. Authorities are not sure why the killings began in Huntsville, but one investigator says that may have been where Schaefer set the whole thing in motion. A local prosecutor says a decision will be made later on whether to seek the death penalty. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.